okay the first thing we need to do is to just look for the room so i believe the best place to find it is android file host and uh yeah just the first link should be it just find the link whatever that this this will be the best place to find any room especially for this device and then specifically the, the, the i think the developer has to be anon i have searched and this is the only developer i could find who works who worked on the 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 room the rooms of this device so yeah that's the only source that we have currently as you can see he has a bunch of rooms but the one we want to try out right now is the refined version 6 so just go find the download link and just click it and to start downloading once you're done then the next thing you do is just connect your device to the computer and uh, now uh, for these rooms sometimes they are especially for this android version which is uh, for this device which is the model c many rooms are not targeted specifically to it so when you open up many of the rooms you may need to go to the 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 google folder and then you find the update script if it is fine then the initial the initial text is U, ui print if it's not ui print and it has some kind of target you may have to remove that script and then just remove the script and start with the ui and then that, that with the ui print then that will be fine but i'll explain about this later when, when we come to install other rooms but that did not have so we are good we just need to copy the entire zip and then just paste it anywhere you want in the phone as long as you can find it maybe in the movies folder downloads folder it doesn't really matter just place it there and then you'll be good to go Okay, once the room is done copying, just go to your device, boot into recovery, the TWRP that we, TWRP that we installed previously, and uh, just start flashing the room. The process is really simple. Uh, it, it's a, everything is a step-by-step -step process, so anybody can go through it. You just need to click, 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 say yes, say no, select a few things and continue. So wipe your device. Just make sure if you if you have it in internal storage, then don't wipe internal storage. But if you have the ROM on a SD card or an external, uh, when you when you know that you're going to get it on an on an SD card, then should be good to go. You just don't you just don't don't flash this the location where you have the file in. Now I had it in internal storage, that's why I did not wipe internal storage. So once you locate the file, just start the flashing process and everything should just run its course. Okay, here we go. Refined. Like the logo. Now just go through the whole process. If you are some, there are some things you need to read through. Uh, this this whole installer has a lot of customization features even from the get-go you, you get to choose your model everything the boot screen the the bloat that you want to be to be pre-installed once you boot it's really nice so you just go through the whole process and everything should be fine
and once you're done with the whole thing you can just press next install and then the process will begin and you should be good to go Okay, now that it's done, just uh, finish reboot your device and just wait for it to boot up. The first boot will take some time since it is going to be it's going to it's going to be the first boot, so it might take a while. For me, it really took a long time, so just be patient and let it do its thing. And I choose the white boot. Boot, boot, uh, boot, uh, how they call it? Boot image, so that's why it's white. So, yeah. Okay, now just go through the whole process of setting up your language, selecting a few things here and there. I didn't connect Wi-Fi immediately because I just wanted to open up the ROM, but everything works. And currently at this point, this is the ROM I'm using on the device. Uh, but yeah, just if you want to set up everything, you can even connect to Wi-Fi immediately, up, make run a few updates, and uh, that should be it. Now, honestly, I believe this is the best ROM for this device at the moment. I just can't use it because there are some applications I'm currently testing which require a higher Android version. And this is the phone I, I, what? I choose to use for debugging because it's, uh, I can run different Android versions and then find out which one works. So I may have to go to Android 9 at least just for my testing process. From the for testing the applications I'm currently building, but yeah, honestly, in in my opinion, this is the best ROM for this device. If you still have all the S Pen features and and everything, uh, and this whole stock stock Samsung feel, because this is the Samsung Experience 8, I think version 8.1, so it's good. Anyway, that's it. I will catch you on the next one. Uh, I think the next one we're just going to start running through those AOS ROMs until we are done with this phone. Anyway, thanks for watching.